Recently, I saw a quite nice video of Josean, who created a new case for his corn keyboard. And I really enjoy his videos and also his case. And since I recently acquired my own 3D printer, I really wanted to create my own case and also to have it that it fits exactly my needs because I tried many different cases and most of them they didn't fit or they did not fit my needs at least. So I created my own and in this video I want to show you my old cases, my fails and my new case. So let's grab a coffee and get started. You may saw the creation of the corn keyboard in one of my other videos and my brother printed me some 3D cases um, but they did not really fit my needs so I got this one. It looks quite nice. It has also like a big area for the battery so if you have a corn keyboard with a big battery this might be a really good case but um, for me the clearance of the keys and stuff it didn't fit because I have the chalk keyboard. It's very slim, very low profile. Um, so every time I typed my keys uh, stuck to the keyboard and it not really fit my needs. So I started creating my own keyboard and let me tell you it's a pleasure having a 3D printer because I could prototype the case like three or four times until it fitted like my needs perfectly. So the first print was like really thin and I completely messed up the dimensions so it was really slim but at least I saw that uh, the outer dimensions more or less fit um, and also I added like this uh, honeycomb pattern. The second attempt was a bit better so uh, I had bigger honeycombs and it also was way more stiff but I screwed up a bit of the measurements so I printed it again. This time it fit perfectly, but I missed something. Um, and that's like you have these little screw um, points and they are a bit higher than the lower part of the, um, of the honeycombs. The side of the plate did not lay on the print side. So I had to create a little um, standoff that it fitted better. Yeah, and then I created the, the third or fourth attempt. Like I printed like many parts. And the last time it fit quite well. So here's the final result. It looks really nice. I did not have screws that are short enough so they stick out a bit. But um, I created like these little points where you can put on a little bumper feet so they don't move on the table. And I added like really slim M5 screw parts uh, to have like the standoffs. And yeah, this this is the final result. For me it looks really nice. So you have like the, the pattern in the bottom. Also I did not add any uh, display bumper or anything. It was just like as minimal as possible just to have it uh, tilted or angled because I like the slim and like slick look of the coin keyboard without any accessories. Let's put together the left side because I only have the right side ready. Um, you will find the link for the Thingiverse download down in the description. So if you want to print it yourself, uh, you can find it down in the description, download it, print it. Let me know if you have any other nice cases, any other findings uh, that you liked. If you like it, thumbs up, subscribe, uh, happy if you enjoy it. And if you find like a nice transporting case that you can put on top of it, because now I will probably transport it like this. Um, I need like a case that is around it, protects the keys a bit. So if you have like a nice cover uh, that you found anywhere to download, let me know down in the comments. During the assembly of the left side, I noticed that I had to get uh, add a little cutout to the left side. I added it to the final uploads or to the files I will upload. One thing to consider, I did not use any inserts to mold in. I really wanted to, but I didn't have them. So I just wanted to create it as fast as possible and didn't want to wait for the post office to arrive with the uh, inserts. Also, I added a little of in, uh, insulation or like a little uh, tape on the standoffs to make them a bit tighter because after creating the threads you could um, like move them really very easily with your hand and I don't want to have them moved all the time when I travel. That's why I 
edit this insulation or this tape. Other than that, uh, it was a pleasure building it and for me it looks definitely nice. I can just put them over each other like this. Yeah, thank you for watching. Happy coding. See you next time. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you have any suggestions how to make something better or to improve the case, let me know as well. Um, I hope you check it out. Have fun. See you next time.